Hello everyone, I am Dr. Priya Sipaha. Today we are going to discuss about the right of an accused person. Now if a person is accused, still he is having certain rights during the time of inquiry also, investigation also and trial also. Now what are that rights? It is necessary to understand those rights because at that particular time a person is only accused. He is charged of a certain section or certain crime. He is yet not proved guilty. So these rights we are going to discuss in this particular video. So the first right is any person who is accused or who has been arrested it is necessary under criminal procedure court also and under constitution also that he must be presented before the magistrate within 24 hours of his arrest this is the first right the second right is right to have any documents which is in furtherance of a particular arrest that means if a person is accused then he is having a right to get the copy of FIR then the police report then if there is any statement or if there is confession of any statements at that these things or these documents are those things which is a right of accused to have it so that on the basis of that he can understand what are the charges which has been framed against him and how he can have he can defend himself of such particular charges now about the third right the third right of accused is about the right of privacy and protection of illegal or unlawful search that means if any person is accused and until and unless police is not having any warrant they cannot do any search at his home or the place where he lives so he is having that particular right to have a protection against unlawful search because it may happen that the person who has been accused is not guilty now fourth right is right to bail there are basically three types of bail in india the first one is anticipatory bail second is interim bail and third is bail by bond which is most common so if, if a person is accused he may apply for any sort of bail this is his right now the type of bail we are going to discuss in some other video now fifth one is right to get discharge when there is no charge that means if by any chance if a person is arrested and if there is an investigation or during the trial also if it is confirmed that the person is not at all guilty then he should be discharged even when the person is arrested or during the trial or during the investigation wherever all the evidences has been in favor of that person that that person is not at all guilty now the other right is right to present evidences now the person is charged of certain crime or under certain section of IPC now it is a right of an accused to present certain evidences in front of court to defend himself that he has not done such particular crime now next right is in correlation with the previous one when that particular evidence has been presented in the courtroom definitely by his advocate then it is also a right of an accused that he must be present at that particular time so that there cannot be any changes in the evidences the next is right to defense that means any accused is having a right to defend himself by the advocate or a defense lawyer of his choice the next is right to get legal aid that means if any accused is not competent enough maybe financially that he can have any defense lawyer then it is a duty of a state to provide him a defense lawyer right for examination or cross examination of any witness now this particular thing is during trial if an accused found that in this particular process it is necessary to present certain witness or for the, he can call certain witness for 
either examination or cross examination then he is having a right to present such witness similarly in between also if he finds that certain document is necessary as a part of an evidence to be presented in the courtroom then also the, it is a right of an accused that he can present certain documents but if if an accused wants to call a witness and if that particular witness if a uh, judge finds that this witness is uh, related for and it is necessary to be presented in a particular uh, trial then he can give can give um, permission but if judge finds that he is trying that means an accused is trying to delay the case or he is trying to uh, take some time for do certain wrong things or if he finds that this is a waste of time then he can deny also to present such witness the next is a right to life and personal liberty that means although this particular provision is for everyone and which is a fundamental right under constitution similarly for accused also he is having a right of life and liberty and if there is anything which is unjust that cannot be done by any of the procedure during the trial also or during the inquiry investigation or arrest or anything similarly during during the trial it must be just fair trial next right is right against double jeopardy now this is very important this means that any accused cannot be punished for the same offense twice that means there must be one punishment for one offense only next is right against self incrimination now right against self incrimination means no accused can be forced or compelled to be witness or against himself only that means he cannot be forced to be witnessed against himself only when he is he has not committed any sort of offense that means he is not guilty the next right is right against ex post facto law that means if uh, anything which has been committed at that time by an accused when it was not considered as a crime and later on it has been considered as a crime then he cannot be punished with the retrospective law that means at that particular time it was not an offense now it is an offense but he has committed that thing at that time when it was not an offense so there cannot be any retrospective applicability of a law in such type of an offense so this is all about the rights of accused which is available in india i hope you like the video and if you like it do not forget to subscribe my channel and hit the like button you may also follow us on various social media platforms by the name of law college you we are also having our website that is law college you.com we are also having different pages on facebook twitter instagram and linkedin till next video see you soon bye bye